Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've been on here. Um, today I got two weapons here. I got a medieval broadsword and I got a Native American war club. And as you guys can probably guess, we're going to be comparing the two of these and see which one is a more effective weapon. So the first test is going to be, let's put in a scenario. You're in battle, you have your sword, somebody's running at you, a smaller person obviously a child and you're going for a headshot here so we're just going to see which one does the most damage on a headshot oof that did a lot of damage so i had to take a real quick lesson on how to use this i used it wrong so we're going to go for round two of the testing That's, uh, that's, yeah, that's just as, as significant as the sword, pretty much. This is not as clean. So, yeah, it's pretty similar. And now for the war club. Uh, I was a little off. It actually was hitting more in the, in the shoulder, but, um, it, it's pretty open. Let's yeah. throw it again. I think I can get that. Yeah, run it back. And the war club again. That was pretty solid hit. Alright. Oh yeah, you almost split the whole section of it. Our third test. Is, um, hypothetically speaking, you have a weapon thrown at you, such as a tomahawk or an axe, and this, you're going to try to deflect it. So, let's get to it. And, you. That was perfect. That was that Did you get hit with shrapnel? No shrapnel at all, actually. No shrapnel. It split, flew that way and that way, so perfect. Alright. So, we're going to do the same test, just with the wool club. Oh, you sent that back at me. Yeah, that destroyed that entirely. Again, got hit. Shrapnel got hit with time, shrapnel. But, but if it was a weapon, you would have deflected it. Yes. Right, if it was a weapon, it would have been deflected, so it, it does pass the test. So, in conclusion, in my personal opinion, through these tests that I've run, if I had to pick one of these weapons to protect myself with. It's gonna be the broadsword. Yeah, it's just it's hard to beat it with any handheld, non-firing weapon. This is really cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's awesome, but it's just, it's just classic. This you can't. It's just you can't beat it really. And, uh, it's just the one I would prefer. But you in the comment section can comment which one you think did better and which you would prefer to have and or use. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.